Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tech Supper channel. In this video, we are going to look at how to send email in integration along with attachments. So this is going to be a very, very important feature of OIC in which you can send an email to anyone. And if you need to send an attachment along with the email, you can send it, send an attachment to. So guys, before we start, I ask everyone to please subscribe my channel so that you can get regular updates my YouTube channel and then you can learn more and more. You can uh, become member of my YouTube channel and there are a few benefits of the membership and if you want to know a lot of what are the benefits I am providing as part of this membership, you can simply go through this video. Uh, basically, the membership is all about the perks. There are three different perks, one call on demand, web session support and then proof of concept. You can opt any one of the option in which you are interested in. Okay, so let's get started. So guys, uh, in integration, there's an action called notification, which you can use to send any type of notification in the integration. Let's suppose if you have an integration and you want to send a notification if the integration gets failed, or you want to send the summary of the records which got inserted to the downstream application. So you can use this notification action and include the dynamic data as well as the static data which you want to send to the recipients. You can send email to multiple recipients at the same time. So this notification activity allows to send an email using, uh, you know, to the multiple recipients at a time. But using this notification activity, you cannot send uh, uh, CC and then BCC. It's not allowed as of now, but might be in the future release. It is allowed. Uh, at the attachment side, you can only attach to MB in a single email. So if you are trying to attach the file, which is more than 10 MB, your in notification activity will get failed. You can also use HTML tags in the body to send the body in the HTML format. So let's see, let, let me just uh, log in into the integration cloud and we'll show you how to send the notification using this notification activity. Okay, so for this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a REST based integration, which will send a notification, let's say, send email. Okay, and then click on the create button. So here I'm going to create a REST API, simple REST API, which will take few uh, parameters like to a body subject and plus one attachment to. So let this canvas to be loaded. Okay, so uh, I'm I will select the REST connection here. And here I can give any point, any endpoint name, let's say send email. Okay, and then next. I'll say this is a send and I will take this endpoint as a post. Post, I will use configure a request payload for this endpoint and configure this endpoint to receive the response. Click next. When you click on the next, you need to, since you need to attach the uh, attachment with this rest, uh, rest request. So I will use this request is multi part with payload. I am selecting it because I want to send the payload to. So I will use JSON sample here. And in this inline, I will provide a sample JSON, like I'll say body, that will be a dynamic, let's say subject, let's say, fine, and then okay. Click next, and here also I can attach the, I can send the response back once I email is sent successfully, is status, let's say this one and then okay fine next and then finish now my rest api is completed so now i want to use the notification action here so in order to get this you just click on this actions and here you have this notification actions so once you drop it it will open a pop-up create action you can provide anything here let's say notification notify okay and then click on a create button oh sorry and then click on a click on a create button so here you see you need to provide the form to subject and then body 
and here you need to provide the attachment here the attachment reference actually and then you can create the dynamic parameters to send to the body so let's configure the form the form so you have a default email let's say no reply at oracle.com which will be used to send the emails so this is a default email address close let's say two two i am taking it from the request payload that will be at two here in this two if you want to send a multi to if you want to send an email to multiple recipients so you have to send email id in the email id as a string in the comma separated let's suppose you want to send an email to two person abc and xyz so you have to send like abc comma xyz and then email will go subject again you can hard code it or you can provide the dynamic so i am just taking it from the request body only and then next and then close and body whatever body will come from the payload i will send it so you have to first create a parameter here let's say body you can create any parameter name and you can assign the value here let's say body fine and if you want to send any dynamic parameter any dy dynamic values in the body section so you have to use this braces and you can copy the this one now in the attachments part click on this plus to send an attachment here and here it will be the attachment reference which is coming from my request so here you see attachment reference similarly if you are trying to uh, pick a file from the ftp you can attach the file reference here too if you want to send more attachment you can click again plus fine okay now integration is completed let me just enable the tracking parameter here and then let's say two okay and then save now integration is saved success integration has been saved and then the close and let's enable the tracking parameter so, sorry let me activate the integration activate it activate Okay, now the integration has been activated. Let me just refresh it and try to get the metadata. You cannot test this API from here because here I am attaching the attachment. So as of now, it is not allowed to test the API which is in which you need to send the attachment. So here, this is the endpoint and you see the request media is a multi-part mix. So I will use the Postman. So here I have just opened the postman. It's a free utility to test the APIs. So the request is a post type authorization, the basic authentication. I have entered the username and then password here. And then under body, select this form data and you need to select any file. Okay, let me just select any file from here. Let's say, okay, this one. And here, whenever you are sending the form data and you need to pass the any payload here you need to pass like this let me just take it okay so here right and you can say test body you can say test subject and if you want to let's say my email id here if you want to send to multiple recipients just put comma and then enter other email address too okay fine and here you need to change the content type this is a multi-part mixed so go to this headers if you don't select this if you don't pass the correct content type the integration may get failed so i so by default takes the uh, form data just remove this and select this content type and then pass it here Fine, let's click on a send. Oh, sorry, I forget to uh, map the response, but no worries. Okay, it's say 200, okay. Let me open my email and we'll check. Here, uh, you can see test subject, test body and the file. So this is how you can use notification action to send an email in the integration. You can add the attachments too. So guys, that's all about this video. If you have any question, any doubt, please keep me, uh, keep commenting on the videos. I will be happy to answer. 
you can find me on linkedin twitter facebook you can see my blog www.taxabar.com and if you guys like my video please like comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the regular updates thank you bye bye